something just isn't right about this picture, but I can't seem to place my finger on it. I'm just kidding. Hey everyone, this is Sam of Jamps and Bros, and today we're going to be looking at, looking at yep, it's a little custom trumpet model. I've got my actual trumpet over here. I'm just going to set it back in the case real quick. So, actually I probably shouldn't have done that. Whoops, later in the video I'm going to have to go back and get it. Ah, uh, silly old me. Yeah, so this is just a small model of a trumpet that's blown slightly out of proportion, needless to say, but I think this is about as good as a job of a job you can do with Lego. I did have to, I'm going to warn you guys, I did have to cut up some pieces, so go ahead and call me names, I don't care, but um, I had to do what I had to do. Most of the parts that were used in this were already cut for different use, so I haven't done much cutting recently. So yeah, the mouthpiece is uh, pretty simple. You can't get a piece that actually looks like this. This did require cutting. But it was something I'd cut beforehand. And so I think this is pretty accurate. The mouthpiece receiver on the trumpet ends right around where the the piping does back here. The tubing or whatever. And then I uh, made one of those like silver trumpets with the with like the strap around the valves so you don't like tarnish the area here where you put your thumbnail. And this was intended to look kind of old, just because of all like all the different gray tones I had to use. So you'll see a couple different looking studs. There's just the standard flat silver in pretty good condition. There's the flat silver in bad condition, and just the titanium, I guess. I couldn't find a one by one plate for this use, so I just kind of put that piece there. So yeah, first tuning slide there with the little thumb slot, and then the second tuning slide. That required some impromptu cutting up. And then uh, next to that lead pipe there is the third tuning slide. Lots of binocular pieces as you can see. I couldn't figure out a way to make this slope, or this uh, bend here look good, so I had to kind of work around that a bit. It's got the bracing here and here, and then of course the bell. So I think I'll leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching, and until next time, this is Jem signing off. Stay classy.